Ah, here we are, back in Connor's Mind Palace. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> so we don't have a new grave, because I really thought we were going to get shot, and then we didn't. Um, so yeah, I guess we could just go straight to Amanda. Very peaceful here. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Really, we thought wrong. What Amanda's really saying is, I wanted to go on a cruise, but I wanted you to push for me. So I'm gonna say you might enjoy it. Where is there to cruise to? <laughs> we just gonna go in a circle? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's no one cares, Amanda. Important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Um, cool. The investigation is more challenging than I anticipated. But I have no doubt that I will solve this case and stop the deviants. He'll stop them. He'll definitely stop them, I can assure you. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. No. Uh, um. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. That's a big oof right there. Oh yeah, and Connor gets to investigate Stratford Tower. Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. <sighs> Lieutenant just stole that money from us. Hi, Hank. Right, yeah, we're not gonna listen to the briefing because we already know what happened. You know what told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news. Yeah, we we already know what happened, so in. screw your briefings. The FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ! Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? Is Ben here? A group of four androids. Ben's like they knew the fat thing detective, and they were they? very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. So much to look at. Poor Evan. I actually feel bad for Evan. I know we killed him, but I feel bad for him. Tasty. Noise. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? 
You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would take you over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Jeez. What a fucking prick. <laughs> Yo, I was thinking the same thing, I'll Hank. Nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find This anything. message is the hope of a people. Okay, Lieutenant. But it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. I thought his barcode was above his eye. I identified its model yeah. serial number. He has two barcodes. Anything else I should know? No. No. Nothing. Hi Perkins. Connor? Yep, I just wanted this interaction. You remember me? I was on that terrace. If you don't die at all, Connor will remember this guy. Remember the first mission with Daniel? You know how we saved this guy by putting that a tourniquet around his arm? Hostage? I was shot? You saved me. I Sorry. feel bad. You must be mistaken. I would have died on that terrace. Even if it wasn't you. I just wanted to say... Thank you. I smiled. Adorable. I promise, in the next run, if we don't die, I promise that I'll try not to die, and that we will save. We'll, no, we'll remember that guy, okay? I promise. So, let's just inspect the rest of the broadcast room, and then we can go inspect um, the roof. There's some special stuff on the roof. No signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. And if we turn that chair, we'll find out that it was an android. Ana High said we already had control of the android. One of the androids. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Alright, is that it? Nope, there's more to do. One more thing. So, there are two options. We can go investigate the rooftop. Or, find out which android was the uh, killer. And I'm going for the roof. No, not the killer. Which android helped the killers? Jesus. It's 
instead we're actually going to find one of the killers. One of, as the media are calling it, the, the terrorists. Made their way up to the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Well, why thank you? So we know it's recently hacked. Now. There's Ethereum. G uh, PL600. I really wanted to say that before it said it on screen just to show that I knew what it was. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation but got the number of parachutes wrong. Or maybe one didn't jump. Hang. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. By the way, if you come and check out the railway, and on that first Daniel mission you fell off of the building, Connor will actually be afraid of heights. Yeah, no, no, like, you could go over to the edge. Now, we didn't fall off the building. We shot Daniel. Okay. Notice how we're not afraid of heights. They definitely weren't. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to see that Connor is afraid of heights if if we were if we had to jump off the building. Which we didn't. Which is all good. Alright. So Ethereum should have been leading into there, but whatever. Jericho. Connor! Connor, you alright? Connor! I'm okay. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jesus. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Woohoo! We've gotten somewhere. Isn't that just great? <laughs> so yeah. Fall in the zone. Zen garden. Oh, okay. Um. Wounded during flat the tower. Killed during start the tower. Okay. Um. So woohoo. I guess that's the end of this episode. <laughs> Public enemy. Jeez. Amanda, trusted, Hank, warm, soft responsibility, who knows? Public opinion, hostile. Ooh, scary.